you do this? You're like a wizard with scissors. I'm gonna call you the scissor wizard. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 2000s TV shows with the most outrageous fashion. What? What's that? Oh, Luke's puka shells. I just found them. Last from the past, huh? Huh? Oh, well, they called me last night after the fashion show and wanted me to do some photo shoots for them. We heard you're gonna be on the cover. Wow. <laughs> wow. Ray, you look Thank you, thank you. I know I do, I know. How come you don't? For this list, we'll be looking at television series from the 2000s that boldly embraced all the wildest fashion trends of the decade. They're still eligible if they started or ended earlier than the noughties, as long as they've spent a majority of their run in the 2000s and or are highly associated with the time period. Did you wear any of these crazy styles? Let us know in the comments. Do you want me to uh... Yeah, you know, actually, if you wouldn't mind. Number 10, Hannah Montana. Oh, look at you, you look gorgeous. As an ordinary teenage girl by day and a pop star by night, of course Miley Stewart and her alter ego Hannah Montana would need two drastically different styles. This meant country western and bohemian styles for Miley, and bright neons, animal prints, and sequins for Hannah. Her best friend Lily also alternates between a laid-back skater girl chic and a more glammed up look with brightly colored wigs when she became Hannah's friend Lola. But of course, even with all the varying looks of the characters and secret identities, a common thread with any outfit in the series was an absolute obsession with layering, as any fan will remember trying so hard to replicate. It's been a long time since I've sung without my friend here, so I hope you like it. Number nine, Ugly Betty. I'm sorry, um, actually, I was wondering, who do I talk to about renting this tiara? <laughs> this show follows a young and driven but woefully unstylish girl as she navigates the world of the high fashion magazine she landed herself a job at. All the characters around her are dressed to fit the most cutting edge trends at the time, meaning that soon after the show aired, these audacious outfits became instantly outdated. So, uh, where do you come from? Queens. Rewatching this series today, it's pretty funny seeing the characters scolding Betty for some fashion faux pas when they're wearing clothes no one has likely considered fashionable since 2006. Ugly Betty is like a perfectly preserved time capsule of high fashion in the 2000s, where every outfit captures a beloved trend we once wore proudly. Number 8, That's So Raven. Wow, Ray, you look fantastic. Thank you, thank you. I know I do, I know. How come you don't? Raven Baxter isn't just a teenage psychic. She's also an aspiring fashion designer who sets out to make her dreams known with every iconic outfit she wears. Some of her style signatures include colorful faux fur trim jackets and hair accessories like bandanas and flower hair clips, which she often wears to round out her bold ensembles. More than just a fashion trendsetter at her high school, Raven was also an outspoken advocate for body positivity. Who says that's the only look? You make people feel bad if they don't look like that. No one looks like that. I don't even look like that. An important issue for youth both in the noughties and today, Raven, along with many other outrageous and iconic characters in the series, absolutely embody the trends and fads of the early 2000s. Because in case you haven't noticed, people come in all shapes and sizes and they're all beautiful. Tell it, girl! Number seven, Pushing Daisies. In a strange bed watching her own funeral on the evening news, Chuck was struck by the undignified nature of celebrity. This whimsical comedy mystery series from the late 2000s featured bright and cheerful outfits that were in direct contrast with the show's dark subject matter of grisly murder investigations and death in general. Look, every week a delicious life-giving pie and then nothing. For months I thought you were dead, and so soon after Charlotte. Though obviously influenced by fashion trends of the time, costume designer Robert Blackman also took inspiration from decades past especially the 1950s and 60s. The result of these influences is an early 21st century take on vintage silhouettes and patterns, especially seen in Chuck's many bright and bold dresses. This unique show was anything but ordinary and simple, down to the outrageous but still very visually pleasing costumes that went beyond the limits of what was considered in style at the time. Ned? Oh my God, hey, how are you? Good. 
good. Uh, you look great. Number six, charmed. Where's the warty chins, hook noses, and pointy hats? <sighs> All right, show us something supernatural. This Supernatural series is a textbook example of transitioning fashion trends from the late 90s to the early 2000s. The three Hallowell sisters had impeccably enviable fashion sense for every girl who wasn't into the hot pink rhinestone look sported by the likes of Paris Hilton, resulting in warm autumnal and berry colors that perfectly complemented the show's witchy vibes. Don't be mad. No, I'm not mad. I'm thrilled. The sisters still stayed on trend with their affinity for halter tops, low-rise jeans, and exposed midriffs. You probably wanted every piece of clothing they owned, even though it would all likely be sitting in the back of your closet today, waiting for these iconic and bold looks to come back into style. I kind of find that hard to believe. What, and a genie man standing in our living room wearing that, offering to grant us each a wish isn't? Number five, the OC. For teenagers in the early 2000s, this series was a glimpse into the highly fashionable upper-class world in Orange County, California that served as endless fashion inspiration and aspiration. Guys, Anna just moved here from Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh? Ew. For the teens of the OC, status was everything, and a large part of displaying one's social status included clothing. Today, however, it's hard to imagine many of these outfits being impressive or enviable in such a competitive and wealthy community. The brightly colored preppy polo shirts and sweaters, graphic tees, and an overabundance of accessories definitely seem a bit dated today. Although, with rumors that low-rise jeans are coming back in style, some of these outfits might not seem so terrible in the near future. Blast from the past, huh? Huh? Number four, Gossip Girl. This just in, S and B committing a crime of fashion. As essentially the East Coast counterpart to the OC's wealthy and stylish California teens, Gossip Girl featured a wide variety of styles and trendy looks for the time. Blair. What? The contrast between Blair's preppy style and Serena's bohemian-inspired looks meant in just one frame you could find a dozen different classic 2000s styles. Beyond just Blair and Serena, seemingly every character in the series dressed to impress for every occasion. Anyone who had to wear a uniform to school was definitely jealous of the unique fashion choices these privileged students got away with, as they definitely capitalized on the excess of accessories that were on trend in the 2000s. My Bottegas, where are they? Consider them prisoners of war. Number three, Lizzie McGuire. So they just had me walk down the catwalk and spin around twice. Let me get this straight. You're gonna be in a fashion show? For Naughty's kids, this series was like a fashion bible. Every outfit Lizzie wore was meticulously on trend, down to her hair accessories. Unfortunately, that means that today, her clothes are pretty much head to toe out of style. Well, they called me last night after the fashion show and wanted me to do some photo shoots for them. We heard you're gonna be on the cover. Wow. But even if we wouldn't wear these outfits now, does not change the fact that Lizzie was an inspirational, trend-setting fashion icon for older children of the early 2000s. And we really respect the confidence she had to rock these outfits every day at school. If Lizzie was self-assured enough to pull off mixed patterns and long denim skirts, it's no wonder she so easily stepped into the role of a famous Italian pop star in the Lizzie McGuire movie. This is what dreams are made of. Number two, The Simple Life. In my life, I've never seen anything like this. Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie may have left their cell phones and credit cards behind in this iconic 2000s reality show, but they brought their wardrobe of outlandish clothing with them wherever they went. This was completely unsurprising. They brought 20 bags of luggage. They had an awful lot of luggage. After all, we have Paris to thank for pioneering massively popular early 21st century trends like Juicy Couture tracksuits and Von Dutch hats. With this series documenting Paris and Nicole's experiences leaving their socialite circle, the contrast between their trendy but outrageous outfits with the more average, everyday styles of practically everyone else around them is endlessly entertaining. They may appear to be ridiculous outfits now, but they definitely hold a special place in fashion history. Help me with this. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Sex and the City. Hi. Hello. Ladies. 
This series didn't just follow the trends of the 2000s, it set them. First premiering in 1998 and featuring a main cast of four stylish, sophisticated, and professional women, this show essentially set the stage for fashion in the 2000s. Can you imagine it? No. A lot of these outfits were iconic, but also pretty impractical, even for television. As seemingly every outfit needed a matching set of heels, their feet would have probably been dead tired after walking around New York City all day. Carrie especially had some questionably out there fashion choices, like her tulle skirts and hats that didn't quite match the rest of her ensemble. But no matter how absurd these outfits look today, these ladies are the ultimate fashion role models for fans of the 2000s. I'm sorry, I'm just a little stunned here and confused. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.